Hello, my lovelies. A few words tonight about the family vacation home. So many of us have years of fantastic trips and summer nights and beloved traditions and memories associated with the cabin or the beach house or the lake home. It was your place to get away, spend time, watch the children grow up, escape from your busy lives and build memories to last for lifetimes. And now, as you think about your future planning and shedding the mortal coil, you might long for the home to be as meaningful to future generations as it was to you. However, you have to be really careful because the family vacation home can become a minefield. It can tear families apart if not properly planned for. A second home is expensive to maintain. There are costs that are invisible when mom and dad are fielding them, but are all too real when mom and dad are gone. There are property taxes, utilities, insurance, maintenance, repairs, maybe lake fees, association fees. So the first question really you have to think of it is, can your family afford it? And the second question is, if they can, who gets to stay where, when, what room, etc. And can the children get along? You know, if there's some sibling rivalries that you know about, that might be a reason to avoid passing it on. So the first thing really to do is to have a good family meeting to gauge the interest. Who wants to keep the place? Who does not? Can one afford to buy out the other? And if some of your children want to keep the property, discuss the costs and make sure that they know what they are taking on. And then you just have to create a plan for the property that has an enduring ownership structure, fair and clear occupancy terms and funding for all of that. And what many of my clients do is create at the beginning a fund that will maybe last for a couple of years. This will get everybody over the grief, um, past the first couple of years trying to figure it all out. And then when that fund is gone, they have to have the plan for how they will put a fund together to run the place. And then you have to put this all of this plan into your trust. We have a part of your revocable living trust. And if your property is in Florida or Michigan, make sure you get that property into your trust as well as your principal residence so that the trust terms will apply. And no matter how hard we try, it's the rare <coughs> family that can sidestep all of the possible pitfalls of inheriting the vacation home. But with good estate planning and, and no stone left unturned, maintenance, funding, and occupancy plan, you can, and your family after you, can maintain the beloved family home and preserve the memories and the traditions across the generations.